And so we're up here at Tim's. Uh, we go, went ahead and started the car. We ran into some issues. We're getting some oil pressure droppage issues. At first we thought it was gonna be oil, oil pressure. You'll see in the video that I'm gonna go ahead and play for you guys. Uh, I just put a bass tune in the car and went ahead and fired it. Everything seems pretty good. We went over some checks and everything's working. So he just getting the car back together. It's a twin turbo 408 LS with twin what it, 70, 78 millimeter like turbonetics. Um, everything's been done. The car's kind of like a pro street type car. It's got a big air to air bead locks on it and then like the cage has been done where it drops down and just just a nice driver the car does have like a 4L85 in it so just a real cool kind of not so much pro street but towards a drag car so just a real nice build should be a cool street car that should be able to drive really good so I'm gonna go ahead and play the video for you guys of us first starting it charger on it is that correct what's the whole deal uh so you don't want the computer plugged in and that plugged in at the same time for whatever reason yeah. we're gonna possibly get power this way and so once you turn the switch off i can still charge it though with it hooked up do we do we can have it on there okay. we have it on my yeah, you just want to keep it the two amps yeah yeah right okay we don't want to start <laughs> 40 <laughs> amps <laughs> just to help it it'll be all right is that the right sensor they had no, a, a power and a ground, five volt yeah, yeah. ground. We use those for these two sensors. Yeah. How many sensors can you hook? It says, it says I, we're reading it says a, a few. Load. No, you can, okay. I didn't know if it was. Yeah, well, like the hall is, has probably 15 or 20 inputs for five volt. Well, I know, but the one wire comes out for that, for that CO2. You just make a distribution block. So you can come off of it, it doesn't matter. That's what we did. We did, like, did a so whole bunch. Cool. You just, yeah. Yeah, I don't. You would think you would overuse it at some point, but then I guess you just tie into some other side. Because right. I would guess the amperage is very low. Oh, uh, do we want to try to adjust this? You yeah, try well, let's to see. Okay, let's try, try to. Try again. I mean, I'm gonna make sure it's set right anyway. So I just want to. Get back in there. That's what sucks. So unless if it bleeds off fast. It probably bleeds off. Mine bleeds. It shows three, two, one. Mine bleeds back so down to zero quick. I'll try I'll try it.
to get that line to stop. And he's trying to fix the drip, and now he's got a puddle. Got a puddle. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so did, did it break the fitting? No, no. I just, I just broke the connection loose, and I was trying to twist the other one. There you go. Put a little pressure. What was the oil pressure at? Uh, I think it's the factory. Is it a factory one? It's got a factory oil pressure sensor in it. Right? It wasn't moving around, so I don't think it was right. Um, yeah, it's factory, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Well, it might be hot. It might be the hot. Like, no, it's, it's got to be that Corvette one, right? Yeah, it's I believe so. Car and put a new fitting on. No, uh -uh. all I was doing was just yeah, fucking trying to see the Yeah, I think that's the one. That's what I have in my car, as long as it's exact same, but there's only one that'll actually plug in from the factory. A Corvette one, like a uh, 5.3 sensor, will not plug into the stock so harness. harness. Uh, fuel pressure's good, no. Yeah, fuel pressure's good, idle's good, whatever Tim's got going on. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. No, we're good. I, I want to check. I want to verify. It's, it's just a tiny little drip. I can't get it. I'm going to cheat so, I mean, out. It has oil pressure, so I'm very good. It was at 28 at idle. My my dad's 60, mine's 60, Jared's 60. Like at cold start like that, it's 60, 58, 60. You have all the pressure. So yeah, see, like, it, it, should, it should be a lot more. And it goes up and it just, sit, but what was weird is it went up and hit like 28 and just stay, and maybe it's that consistent, but it's not like 28, 27, 26, 28, see, 27. That, well, 20. that, it's, when you give, when you give a gas, so I don't know, it should be going to go It should up. gain some. That's what it did to me. But like right I, now it's I, sitting I, at zero. Is that about what it had before? Well, yeah, but that's concerned me. I was like, what the hell? And I give it gas, and it go up to 30, 32, and that's it. It wouldn't go any higher than that when I, when I would want. You know, you, you just give it a goose, which it should go higher than that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's the same sensor, I'm sure, that I have in my car. That's why I was just going to check some stuff and make sure. Any chance the sensor got some of that junk plugged into it? There's a chance. It it. That's what's, but it, it read, because like right now it shows zero. When we fired, it went to 28. Oh, but like. That's not the one. It, it's a factory GM. It's a GM. It's, it's, a, it's a GM one. It's a GM one. I'll just verify the, uh, I didn't remember that. I the scaling. Remember that one. I'll reference the Google. Thank you, Google. It's going to be Should be. I have a manual gauge I can bring over with a T into one of the turbos. And just check it. Yeah, just For sure. It's something like, it's just weird that that sensor doesn't even act like a normal <clears throat> sensor. Right. Which we'll see, like we'll, we can give it some throttle and stuff, but if it just kind of like right, plateaus yeah, exactly. right there, it's, not, right. it's like hitting a wall, that makes sense. <laughs> We're good? Yeah, go for it. up. Make sure it doesn't get too 
That's what happened as we went ahead and started it. And then later on we decided we were gonna go ahead and put a manual oil pressure gauge in it. So we're only getting like 20 pounds at warm, as you guys can see in the video, of oil pressure. When we added this manual gauge, we're getting 40. So we're not too sure if it has to do with some of the remote mount and the feed with the cooler or what. Um, we're gonna swap it out and probably try another uh, Corvette style sensor. So it uses a Corvette style like OEM sensor connected to the Holly. I went ahead and verified the voltages for that and they were good. 
So we're gonna swap that, check that. Um, Tim's gonna do that here in the future. And that'll be something we'll figure out. I'll let you guys know in the next video with the car, what we figured out and where we're at with oil pressure. And we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.